Hey guys, Daedalus Nix here with another poorly shot video. Uh, today we're going to talk about actually putting the magnets onto um, a model for Warhammer 40k. Uh, specifically, I'm going with the Tau Christ XV8 Crisis Suit. Um, these steps would most likely apply to pretty much, I'd say, a large portion of models out there. In fact, I've kind of started thinking of toying with them for uh, shield drones and gun drones and things like that, so I could just swap out whatever drone it is just by popping magnets on and off. But that is completely beside the point. All right. So, first order of business, what tools do you need? We have the crisis suit. From the last video, of course, we have the magnetic manipulator. Ta -da! Which, of course, is the fancy way of saying paperclip with one side bent out. Uh, I apologize for the white background. We'll talk about that in a second. The non-magnetic manipulator. Your magnets. Again, I am... I believe I'm using one and a half millimeter magnets. They're nice and small and it makes this process really easy. Your drill. Again, calibrated as per the last video. Super glue. A compass. And if you don't know anything about magnets, I'll explain this in a minute. And finally, a Sharpie. Some sort of permanent marker. I actually, it doesn't need to be permanent, but I just like the permanent marker. I have them all over the house. All right. First thing is first, you have to drill the hole into the crisis suit. I'm going to start off with the arm. Now, on this model, for example, I have several places I can put them. I have one on each arm, two on the top of the shoulders, and then kind of two on the back of the shoulders. I personally don't use those points when I uh, do my, mag um, my weapons on my loadouts. I like them on top of the shoulders and on the arms. I'm only going to do just for time's sake one shoulder here so put my magnet in it doesn't now my drill bit I'm sorry put my drill in now my drill bit will slide up and down get as close to center as you can as you drill one nice thing about the crisis suit versus the magnet I'm using it's about the same depth so really all I gotta do is just give it a few nice turns and yeah I'm pretty much in now at this point Again, just as you did before when we were calibrating, take one magnet and confirm your depth, placing the magnet into the area, and at least eyeball it. Yep, that looks flush. That looks pretty good. Um, in this case, you can fill in with green stuff if need be. Now, I made the magnet joke. At this point, if this is your first model you're magnetizing, you need to kind of come to some sort of administrative decision. And that decision is what side will be facing out on the models that you magnetize. Um, there's actually two different ways to do this. Um, all magnets, by the way, have a north and a south pole. You have two different ways. Like I said, you have two different ways. You can either pick a side of the suit um, or in the model. Like say on the left side, sorry, left side of the suit would all be south, right side all be north, arms all be south top part all be north. The only problem on that is when your weapons go on there, the opposite side of the magnet has to go on there. What I like to do is I basically picked on all my suits, all my models, things like that, the north side is sticking out from the model. In this case, the south side is glued into the model. That's where the magnet comes in. Magnets are designed to face towards magnetic north. Um, in fact, they're going towards the strongest magnetic field of the vicinity. In this case, it is right now the North Pole. Sorry, there we go. And of course, it's badly seen. Now, what I can do is I put my magnet on the end of my magnetic manipulator. And I'm actually going to try and get this right on the tip as best I can. There we go. Unfortunately, it's seen a lot of super glue on time. Now, if I hold my magnet near, I see that it just looked around to south. That tells me that the side facing towards the compass is the south side, which actually is good. I didn't. This is a complete 50-50 fluke. Um, if it was facing the side I want to glue in, there we go. The north side of the compass would face out towards it. It's kind of hard to shoot at this angle and do this, but yeah, trust me. Right now, north is facing out. That's the side I do want, not want to glue in. So again, I flip it and confirm. There we go, south side. Now, here's where that Sharpie comes in. I got the south side out, pop the cap off the Sharpie. 
and put a little black mark Oops. sorry I had to pull this out of camera here there we go put a little black mark on most basically most of the side of that magnet there you can see it oh yeah <laughs> I forgot to explain about the plate um, one other tool that you need of course when you're modeling is some kind of nice work space area that your mom, your wife, whatever dominant female figure in your life will not yell at you at if you're doing this on their nice dining room table like I am. Um, so just kind of be prepared, be aware. But of course, if you're already playing more hammer. You know that rule. All right. At this point, we're kind of fairly simple. Take your super glue. I love my super glue to have because I can get the cap off with one hand and put it back on with one hand, and put a small drop of glue into the hole you drilled out. Cap real quick here. Okay, take your magnetic manipulator. Again, we're in this kind of situation where it's hard for me to do the work and see at the same time. Shoot at the same time. In one hand, I usually put it in my non-dominant hand. In my dominant hand, hold the non-magnetic manipulator. Mine, in case you didn't know, is a little nice little cocktail plastic knife thing. Anything non-magnetic, preferably plastic, will work. Carefully slot your magnet in. Push down on it with your non-magnetic manipulator and slide, not pull, the magnetic away. So you drill, glue, drop with the magnetic, push in to hold it in place with the non-magnetic and slide it away. By pulling up you risk pulling the thing out of joint. Trust me, I've actually screwed up a model doing that. So now I've got a single magnet in here. I'm going to actually repeat the process without alpha video. Uh, next video is going to be doing an actual weapon. The upshot to this, once you've done this on a single suit and a weapon, you don't really actually need the compass anymore. Um, I'll talk about that on the weapons video. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'm Daedalus Nix. Thanks a lot. See you later.